You know, when Ilya Sutskever talks about AI, people listen. And for good reason. He's one of the minds who literally helped build the foundation of the world we're living in now. We're talking AlexNet, GPT-3, the whole shebang. But now he's basically saying that the very era he helped create is coming to an end. So today, we're going to break down what he thinks comes next. And it all kicks off with this really simple but kind of devastating observation. Look, this isn't just some small nitpick. This is a direct shot at the core of how we think about AI. And it's coming from a guy who knows these systems inside and out. This is the big mystery we're going to unpack. So this issue with generalization, the ability to apply knowledge to new situations, it's not just another bug to patch. Setzgiver is saying it's a fundamental flaw. It's a sign that the current approach has pretty much hit a wall and that we need a major, major shift in how we think about building AI. And this gets to a feeling I think a lot of us have had when we're using these tools, right? It's this bizarre, confusing experience where you're dealing with something that feels like a genius one second and then just completely clueless the next. Suitscover has a great word for this. He calls it AI's jagged performance. I mean, on one hand, these models can ace exams that won't make most of us cry. They can write complex code in the blink of an eye. But then you get into these moments that are just maddening. So it's Curver gives this perfect example. You ask the AI to fix a bug in some code. It does it, but it accidentally creates a new one. So you point that out and it goes, oh, my apologies, and reintroduces the first bug. You're just stuck in this loop. How is that even possible? Yeah, that's the key question, right? Why can a system be so incredibly smart one minute and so fundamentally dumb the next? To get to the bottom of it, we've got to rewind a little bit and look at how we ended up here in the first place. All right, so for the past several years, progress in AI has really been all about one simple, incredibly powerful idea. Just make everything bigger. This was the scaling recipe, and it was a total game changer. It basically meant that if you were a big tech company, you had a pretty safe bet pour in more data, throw more computing power at it, build bigger and bigger models, and voila, you'd get better results. It was reliable. It worked. But the real question is, what kind of intelligence did it actually create? To explain this, Sutzkiffer uses this absolutely brilliant analogy. Imagine you have two students getting ready for a big programming competition. Student number one is the grinder. They practice for 10,000 hours, memorizing every single problem they can get their hands on. Then you have student number two. They only practice for about 100 hours, but they just get it. They have that it factor, that intuitive feel for how things work. Sutzgever just lays it 